Hi, we are Piccolo Studio from Barcelona. We are Jordi and Alexis, and we are here to talk you about our first game arrived. A simple story. Through gameplay, you you get people to you know to, you you exponentially multiply the power of what you're communicating to because you're not just exposing something, you're you're communicating something through the actions of the player, and that was our goal from the first. Uh, moment we had the uh, the idea of, of time shifting. So and we said, okay, remembering at some point is going back and forth, uh, an event in your mind. So we said, okay, we can turn every chapter into a time lapse, and this to us helps convey the idea of remembering, but also creates a, a setup to build puzzles and situations which are interesting to the to the player. Actually, when we were designing the game, most of the times we never talk about puzzles. We talk about situations and scenes. So it was the narrative first, always. So we tried to create, you know, the elements and, 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 and to find the right time lapse that could play with those elements that could communicate that high level idea into grounded mechanics. When you shift time and you see some flowers orienting to the sun, you don't have to explain that. People understand that, people expect that. The first version of everything that you will see in the game was way more complex than what was has ended up being in the game. For example, I think in the childhood uh, level is the, the best example because we had very interesting puzzles that, that we had to remove because it felt like working. And childhood is not about working, it's about being a child and enjoying things and being surprised by giant things and giant yeah. animals and corals. Then when you get into the more adult ages and being old, then an intellectual puzzle situation it makes sense there because being old is about thinking, it's not about mm. running and jumping anymore. Most of the of the situations that you find in the game are intellectual rewards, not skill rewards. And that's how we did it. Yeah. And a lot of testing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Arise, it's an emotional roller coaster. It talks about sadness, happiness, love. So it, it felt just natural that you could share all those feelings with the people you love, with the people you care for. So that's why we have local co op mode, and you can play the game with uh, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your father, your daughter, your grandfather. So one player takes control of the old man, and player two takes control of time. We wanted both players to feel that they were uh, together uh, doing things. So that's why we call this mode together mode. We want to play with, you know, our mates, with our friends, with our fathers, with our kids. So we designed the game so that one player can be a hardcore gamer. The other one, it's not necessary to, have to be skilled to solve problems. And this is the idea behind the design. This and the communication, because you have to talk to each other all the time. Thank you for watching us talking about our first game and we are very excited to, to see your reactions. <laughs>